The story of Abraham is well known, a cornerstone of faith for many believers. Yet, amidst the towering figures of Sarah and Hagar, another woman quietly played a significant role. Tatura, Abraham's forgotten wife. After Sarah's death, Abraham took another wife named Keturah, Genesis chapter 25, verse 1. This brief mention in the Bible may seem minor, but it opens a fascinating chapter in Abraham's life. Keturah bore Abraham six sons, Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. These sons, though less famous than Isaac, became the patriarchs of their own tribes and nations. The Midianites descended from Midian would later have significant interactions with the Israelites, including the famous story of Moses and his father-in-law, Jethro, a Midianite priest. Abraham loved all his children, but he was mindful of his covenant with Isaac. To ensure peace and clarity in his legacy, Abraham gave gifts to Keturah's sons and sent them eastward, away from Isaac. This act ensured Isaac's inheritance of the promised land, while also providing for Keturah's children to establish their own legacies. The Bible tells us little about Keturah's origins or her life with Abraham. Some traditions speculate that Keturah might have been Hagar under a new name, symbolizing reconciliation. However, this remains unproven. What is clear is that Keturah played a crucial role in Abraham's life, contributing to his extensive legacy. Keturah's descendants spread across the region, becoming influential tribes in their own right. The Midianites, for example, played both supportive and adversarial roles in Israel's history. Through these interactions, the impact of Keturah's children continued to resonate long after Abraham's time. Keturah's brief appearance in the Bible teaches us about the many overlooked but vital contributions to history. Her story, though not as detailed as others, provides a fascinating glimpse into the extended family of Abraham.